God, I can't. Wow. Whoa, look at that. That's incredible. Odin. This looks incredible. Bahamut versus Odin. Wow! This is so insane. This looks insane. I'm. What is happening? This game just doesn't stop. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness. I shall deal with our enemies here. All of them. <sighs> the music too, dude. What the fuck? I need a second, actually. I need a second. That was Wow. Wow. <laughs> Fucking what? Oh shit. It was me. I killed Joshua. Oh god. Why is he naked? Ah, you're awake. It was me. I killed him! I killed Joshua! I killed them all! I'm a monster! And I deserve to die! So end it! End it now! Please! Please! Ah! Oh man, why? <sighs> I reckon I can take you. If that's what you want. But first, I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up a scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. But who is it? See, that's the thing. Like, we still don't know everything, which makes it yes. interesting. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Don't. Please, think about it, Clive. The rumours all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Nothing like a pat with the dog. Stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Gav on a wild goose chase. I mean, he must be though, right? Because, because let's let's just get our bearings. So we 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 saw him at Phoenix Gate when Ifrit first showed up. What does that mean? He also called out to us. And he set fire to all those people inside of um, Ken Northern. So something's not adding up. Unless it's Phoenix. Unless he's the new Phoenix, reborn or something. Like then, like because you know sometimes it takes a long time for a new icon to find its way into circulation. But like maybe he's Phoenix, or maybe there's two Efrits or something. I don't know about that one. Oh, fuck off, no. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, no. 
why game? Why is it always giant spiders? Let's do this. Ooh, see that? Now that was sick. That must take a long time to recharge too. Oh no, Gav. Gav! Take his head! Out of my way. Fucking get him. <laughs> Fucking Dragoon. Oh my god. And a Wyvern. Oh, because Dragoons. Dragon Riders. Oh. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? Hell yeah. Oh man, I suck. Oh dude, I cannot dodge for the life of me. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, Toggle, let's go. Oh. Come on, Gav. Come on, Gav. Oh no, not the PTS. Not now. Not now. I've got you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. <laughs> but if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing deers would be all. <laughs> Dude, there is no way. That's so funny. Fuck, that's so fucking funny. No birds returning this year. Deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. He kind of sounds a bit like Alpha, no? Back to where it all began. Wait. He must be stopped. What? What? What is going on? Who who must be stopped? Who's gonna fucking kill her? It's true then. <clears throat> it really is you. It is. Clive. Oh. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men, 
and captured the women. And took you back to Ainho. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. Holy man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? We have found you. What did he mean? We should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the Crows. Tell her you was Sid. Hey, she'll help hey, you that's a line from Remake. Understood. <laughs> Yo, she looks sick. Sorry to keep you waiting. Rosaria. It's been 13 years. Oh, the music slaps. The Imperial Province of Rosaria. We should press on. Homecoming. Spider-Man. Goes to East, but we'll leave him in the pile. We'll take him over when the bridge is back. And when is that going to be? Cut down. God, the vibes, man. What a, what a, wow, the music, just being in the town. This evokes, this evokes such a feeling of Final Fantasy. You know, you come up to your first little town, you got your merchant, you know, you got the, I assume this is the inn. You got the, you know, the, the music plays. Man, it's fucking Final Fantasy, dude, but it looks like this, <laughs> it's crazy. Good, honest work building the aqueduct. Back when we had proper leaders and proper trades. Not just selling our blades and our bodies. What a vibe, man. Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. Avoid blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. Back. I could jump over that gap. I don't see the problem. Do you think something might be nice if you could have like a room to refill all of your, you know, health and stuff. Although I suppose it's kind of not necessary, but it'd be nice, you know. It would be nice. Fuck that. Now that I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but. And it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Just saved him from fucking scorpions and we're like, go now face the fucking bridge. This is like Final Fantasy 1. 
We saved Princess Sarah, and now the king will fix the bridge. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, thank the founder for that. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repair is finished. Yeah, let me rest. Let me have a room. We'd be delighted. Quest complete. Ah, dear. Congratulations on the new arrival. It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I. It. Let them deal oh, with no. it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt mm. with now. So no harm done, eh? That's not good. Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? Right. God. That's not good. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now, they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favour and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. Oh my god, it's like Meridian. I knew the children were tested, but a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. Is that a green and blue chocobo? Oh, why would I fight it? Oh my god, why am I fighting chocobos? No. I guess I'm gonna kill it. Oh no. I, I never wanna die. Oh. Please, father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light. It fades. I don't wanna die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can. For the time they have left. The curse has taken them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. Oh man, what the fuck? This is fucking Thank horrible. You. Father. Fuck. I God. must offer you my own thanks. God, this game just doesn't let up. <laughs> it's continuously fucking just, like, brutal. Well, that was fucking horrible. That was, yeah. Blimey. Blimey. We should get back to Mother's Rest. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Oh, that's nice. What a, what a nice little, like, tangent. What a nice little side thing as part of the main story. That was so nice. Just, I mean, not nice. There was, you know, some horrible stuff, but it was nice in that, like, you know, we got to see this little town. We got to learn a bit more about the people. Martha's really nice. I like it. You should think about pressing on. If you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. yeah. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. 
But just because you think something doesn't make it true. I'm no saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. Quiet, isn't it? Yes. You, you're Clive Rossfield. <gasps> it's me, Hannah. Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Anna. Oh. oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> oh. It's good you to see you. Oh, Rodney passed wait. away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. He didn't realize. I, I'm sorry. Oh no. Clive. Oh, Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. <sighs> God, man. That's fucked. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore oh. that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing gave my life any meaning but if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others then why the hell am I still breathing I ask myself the same when I fought hundreds died there were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. God. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. on the balcony when we looked up at the moon I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered oh. you came back to me the heavens must have a plan for us He's getting close. 
Where, where are they going with these two? Didn't they? Didn't they kind of grow up as siblings? We should get some. Like they're not siblings, but like. So really, there's no problem. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Interesting. Interesting. I wasn't. I was not. I wasn't where I expected them to take those characters. But it doesn't not make sense. People will not flee at the sight of me. You look. Just oh, we got like the new clothes. When he was your age. How did you come to have some of our Oh, <laughs> before Elmer yeah. became Archduke, did you well? He looks so good. Yeah. It may only have been for a short while, but seeing you again took me back to happier times. Oh, this is such a nice, like, a bit of sweet bit. My lord Man. and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. If we follow the road to the north, look at us. It should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. Dude, he looks fucking incredible. That sword, the cape, the hood, the armor. Dude, what a fucking awesome design. God, I love it. Oh, let's go. Can't go in. Interesting. So we should probably be able to go in, go in these later. Man, this game's got me hooked. Like every when I'm not playing it, I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> it's almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. It's just as I left it. Okay. Well, Could I have done tense. this? Could anyone? Whoa. Holy shit. There's one thing this game does, man. The scale of things. The scale. Dude. Like, it's something that classic Final Fantasies couldn't do to the same extent, right? And I think it, it, this game benefits so much from not being an open world in that it allows you to feel this sense of scale of the world, but then within the, the like, moments like this, the scale of just, you know, shit like this, because of the way the world is scaled, you're able to have shit like this, and it, it's impactful, man. And like, there's the tower, like... The way that it has landmarks too, like they drew your attention to the tower when you're in East Pool and Martha's Rest, so that when you come to Phoenix Gate, you see the tower and you're like, oh, that's where we were. Like you can orient yourself and be like, oh, we've come such a long way, and it, it cre then increases the scale. It's really good, really clever. Uh what is it, Torgal? Clive. Oh. That's him. What does this mean? Let's He's go. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. Don't shout. I have I to know. know. He's gonna know we're here. We don't want to scare him away. Okay, I just wanted to interject here real quick with a little note that when I was recording this specific recording session, unfortunately, I recorded my mic and my game audio combined as one. I do have a separate mic audio, but it's not in sync properly, and so I have to sync it up, but I, there must have been something different between the frame pacing of my camera recording and my game mic recording, because they don't sync up. They just keep falling out of sync, like every 10 seconds I have to resync it. So if it sounds a bit weird at points, just know that's why it is, it, it's ruining my life. Just please, I hope it's not too bad. Um, enjoy the rest of the video. I'm gonna cast some magic in there, Clive. Or, or not, no, it's, it's lightening up. Here, okay. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. Oh, I love the design of the fallen stuff. It's really nice. Ooh, look at that. Thank you, Joshua. Oh, fuck. 
Are you sure about this? <sighs> I don't know why that got me so hard, that line. Jesus. Oh, the music. I like that. Oh, man, dude. This game is so Final Fantasy. I just I can't understand people saying it's like, oh, this is nothing like Final Fantasy. I'd hardly call it a ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Dude, if anyone knows me, you know I'm a sucker for this shit. I think it's why I was drawn to Final Fantasy when I played the first one is I fucking love ancient ruins that are actually not ancient, but they have really high tech. You know what I mean? I fuck, dude, I love that shit. I love that shit. Final Fantasy always fucking does it. I think it's so cool. And I love the design of this. God, it's so nice. Oh. I love this. <laughs> I love it. Let's fucking go! Fallen bug! Did it. Oh man. God, I love this game. Dude, I fucking love this game. It just makes me feel happy. God, it's so good. Whoa, they got fucking lightsabers. What is that? What the fuck? <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my god, the design is so sick. Oh my god, yeah, and this is like, yeah, we're starting to see the, some of the same architecture of where we fought, um, where we, where we fought, well, where we fought Clive as Phoenix during the prologue. This shit is making me realize, too, the trailers barely showed any of the game. Like, I'm just, I'm thinking about it, I'm like, the trailers really showed. Almost everything we've played is everything in the trailers. I feel like there's not much else that we've, like, that, we're, that we've seen. And there's so much of the game left. Dude, we have no idea where this is going to go. Bomb! Wait, the bombs don't exist in this world? Outside of here? That's really interesting. It really does feel like a classic Final Fantasy dungeon. You know, you're going through these rooms. I think it could benefit. I don't know. I mean, they might do it in later dungeons, but I think it, it could benefit from optional pathways that aren't the right way to go. Oh my god, it's one of these. Oh, it's one of those guys! What are they called? The giant thing? Uh, Iron Golem? <laughs> What are they called? Iron Giant! Yes, yes, yes! I know these guys. They were in Final Fantasy 2, right? I mean, they're in more than Final Fantasy 2, but I think they're from 2, right? Oh my god. Oh, this is a sick boss. I love this. God, when you get into the rhythm with the combat, dude, it's so fun. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Oh, got it. That reminded me of, um, what game does that? Crisis Core does it. That's what it is. That's what I'm thinking of. It's fucking Crisis Core that does that. I think it's also in, um, do they do that in Tales of Arise as well? Or am I losing my mind right now? Oh my, that was so fucking smooth. Oh, beautiful. That was fun. That was fun. Oh, man. I love this. I love it so much. It all seems to lead to this room. And look what's in it. Whoa. Uh, uh, oh, no. Frozen. That happened before. Why is dude so ominous? You, you, you're him. The second dominant to fire. Who are you? 
What? What the f- What? <laughs> what was that? I'm back. Oh god. Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Clive. Ah, oh, yes. See, this is. I knew this is where this scene would happen. Yeah, I knew it. I fucking called it. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. Oh, the music. Show me who you truly are. Yeah, I knew this sort. Of, I knew this was going to happen. Like, like an internal conflict. Yeah, this is exactly what I was like needed to happen. I literally talked about this sort of this exact thing on Horsey and Fox, episode ten. But by doing this, are we going to regain control of? It? Oh God. We got him. This music's so good. Got him, let's go. Oh, 
Oh wow, that was, that's some fucking uh, young Zayn or shit, or old Zayn, or I don't remember. The birth by sleep fight. Yeah, it's fucking old Zayn. Or... Oh god, oh god, Jesus Christ. Oh, I dodged it. We just go. Oh, what is that? Is that limit break? Oh my god. Dude, this is very reminiscent of, of Alex. It's very reminiscent of like Cecil in um, Final Fantasy IV, but like the opposite, like the polar opposite sort of. Oh my god, this is insane. This is so fucking cool. Yes, let's fucking go. Don't look at that, the way it changes your attacks and shit, like the fucking air attack. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Are we gonna do it now too? We're gonna go Ifrit versus Ifrit. God, this is such a fucking cool visual representation of accepting yourself the truth of it now. and like killing off the guilt within you. I'm like, I am. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is beautiful, man. Dude. Dude. Oh my god. I love how our name tag is Ifrit and the, like, the, the opposing one is Infernal Icon. That's really cool. was magnificent oh my goodness that was just god let's just finish the segment and then i will i'll yeah we'll talk okay <laughs> some sort of like, I guess some sort of chosen one, right? Chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. 
We should go. But what is this mural? What does it mean? Because there is a hooded man. Like, that wasn't him. That was, like, the, yeah, inside him. But there clearly is one, though. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle. And I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground was me, Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed. But not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. Yeah, me too. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers together. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth, even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet, they're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. Oh. If he is here, then. The disturbance I felt at the care must have been confounding. The hour is later than I thought. Where are we now? Castle Dasbog. Delivered. Who, who delivered the coffer said he said sit paid him I let you run amok with the rest of your rats and this is how you repay me find out where he is Crush him! Flay him! Rip out his heart! Him and all his filthy brood! And send every last one of them to hell. Hell exists in Final Fantasy 16. Does that mean heaven exists? Does that mean Christianity exists? Is Hugo Catholic? So is that something that has let him know that Benedict is dead? Is it her head or something? Kind of fucked up if that's the case. Benedicto. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> Ifrit awoken. Clive has gained control of the icon Ifrit, allowing access to new iconic abilities such as ignition, a fiery lunge. Oh, right, so we now have those abilities too. Slots for Ifrit's abilities are shared with those for the Phoenix. Oh, right, okay, because they're both fire. Limit break gauge is located beneath Clive's health bar. Release Clive's inner beast and semi-prime into Ifrit by pressing both of the sticks when the gauge is full. Okay, okay, hold on. We, need a, we just need a second. Hold on a minute. 
Okay, so that was a lot, and I think it was really, really good. I, I honestly wasn't expecting that to happen so early. I thought that would be like an end of the game moment of him coming to... Like, I thought he would grapple with it across the course of the whole game. And then at the end, we'd have that moment of him accepting who he is. But this actually makes more sense, I think, than that. Especially with, with, with the way the game was set up. And I, I like that about it. I, I think that it makes sense for him to do it now, especially with so many unanswered questions and where, where that's going to take his character. And I like that he hasn't just got rid of his, his, his guilt and resentment to himself. Like, that's not gone. It's just he's stopped running from the truth now. So, like, in accepting the truth of who he is, he's able to embrace that to discover the rest of the truth. But he's not, he's not gone, ah, well, it is what it is. He's like, no, I still did do this. I ruined a lot of lives. I killed my brother. I killed these people. I have to be held responsible for that still as well. And it's like, so he still has that guilt, but he's no longer lying to himself. It's like that moment. It's like what happened was in that moment when Ifrit awoke at Phoenix Gate. It's like he split himself in two, and there was this part of him which was who he is that had awoken that day, and this other part of him which is his true self, or like, you know, the part of him that's like running away from that, and now they're back together again. But that doesn't mean the trauma and guilt is gone, because that's always going to be there, because it doesn't just go away when something like that happens to you, especially when you're responsible. So I really like that, and I think it adds a complexity to Clive's journey thus far. But I'm still, there's still a lot of questions we don't know, like, why is it him? Why did it awake then? Um, who is the hooded guy? What's going on? Because clearly it's Phoenix. Like, yeah, so we're gonna, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to discover all of those things. But I think that was a really well executed sequence of events that continue with the core theming and the character arc that we've been exploring. So, like, it just worked. It just worked, man. That was really well done. I like that a lot. Let's push on. Oh, no. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, my God. <sighs> That's fucking cool. That was a cool move. Imperial Wyvern. Limit break. Let's go. That was fucking sick. Don't hurt my dog. All oh my god. Burn. The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command. Oh. oh. She's she's the Empress. Wait, I'm I missed that. So she's trying to kill all the bearers. Ooh, prelude. Sorry, Lady Hannah. Fuck. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Clive! Good old Gav. Love Gav. The way father embraced them. When the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Fuck yeah. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. Man, this this Final Fantasy has so many elements. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Nah, no, not a suspicious character. Lord Kuka's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. Man. Like I was saying, right, this this has, like, everything. It has all the elements of, like, the Final Fantasies. It's just, like, taken bits from everything. You've got the, the sci-fi elements that were heavily part of Final Fantasy 1. You've got 
the focus on summons, right, being a core part of the story like they are in something like 14 or in 4, they're a huge part of 4, right, with the, with the summoners and stuff, and Final Fantasy 9 as well, like with the Eidolons and things being, you know, huge powers of mass destruction. You've got the mystery and the intrigue and the what is happening sort of aspect of like a Final Fantasy VII, and obviously, you know, eight had that, even though I think eight's a bit shit. You've got the the rebellion against an empire, which is a classic Final Fantasy thing, you know, very present in Final Fantasy II. It's just like taken bits from like all of these different games. Like you can see all these different parts and they're all coming together in this way where it just feels like this grand experience. I love that about it. <sighs> Dude. This is so fun. Okay, let's go.